Maya and I'm from England. Today I'm going to be reading nine books and I'm just going to be reading ten pages for my reading challenge. So, the first book I'm going to be reading is The Magic Faraway Tree. Um, it's going to be a collection of lots of books from, um, from, like, it's going to be matching with uh, this book. So, like, lots of other chapters and stuff like that. So, the whole collection's in here, so I'm going to read it. So I'm going to just tell you the contents, how we found the magic wood, first visit first visit to the wood, up the faraway tree, the folk in the faraway tree, the roundabout land, the moon at face and the slippery slip. Beth makes some toffee for moon face. Joe and the magic um, snowman, the house of the three bears, the battle of the bears, more and more surprises, what happened to the snowman, Moonface gets into trouble, the funny old um, saucepan man, the saucepan man goes to the moon gland, and an invasion, an invin invention from Moonface sil Silky. Then you can read that on your own because I'm taking way too long. So, oh, there's more chapters, but oh uh, well. Um, so I'm going to read the first page, and um, it's how I found the magic wood. There was once three children called Joe, Beth, and Fanny. All their lives they had lived in a town but now their father has a had a job in a country so they were all to move as soon as they possibly could what fun to be in the country said joe i shall learn all about animals and birds and i shall pick as many flowers as i want to said beth and i shall and I shall have a garden of my own, said Fanny. So I think that Fanny might be the youngest and it might go like in a line. So, when the day came from, for the move, all the children were excited. A small van came to their door and, and two men helped their father and their mother to pile everything into it. When it was full, the van drove away and the children put on their coats and their hats to go to their, with their mother to catch a train to the station. Now we're off, cried Joe. The country, the country, sang Beth. Well, I mean, the country, the country, sang Beth. We might see fairies there, said Franny. The train whistled and chuffed and shuffed out of the station. The children pressed their noses to the window and watched the dirty houses and the chimneys race by. How race by. How they hated the town. How lovely it would be to. Wait, so this was the picture. Here we go. Let me just show you the picture. And the picture. And I'm just going to read the next page. So we're up to how lovely it would be to to be in the clean country with flowers growing everywhere and birds singing in their hedges. We might have adventures in the country, said Joe. There will be streams and hillsides, big fields and dark woods. Ooh, it will be lovely. You won't have any more adventures in the country than you will have in the town, said their father. I dare say you will find it all very dull, but that's where he was quite wrong. wrong. My goodness, the things that happened to those three children... They arrived at least at the tiny station where they were to get out. A sleepy looking porter by um put their two bags on a trolley and said he would bring them along later. Of oh, they all went down 
the winding country lane, shattering loudly. So, since this, um, like, all the pages are really long, I'm just going to read, like, five pages, maybe, because five pages, like, worth, uh, let me show you on this book. Um, sorry, I'm keep on talking a lot and not reading the book. Five pages on here is worth, I mean, ten pages on here is worth five pages on that book. So, you see this? So this is how this is all the five pages. So I'm just going to read five. So where was we? Oh, here we are. I won't do. I won't stop anymore. I'm just going to read normally now. Um, things from I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. Finished. Finished. Bye.